again. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be vlogging again. I've been watching some of my old vlogs. Is that weird to watch some of your old vlogs? I don't know. Being in the place where I am now, after a couple of really busy months on major clinical year, I feel like I've really fallen out of touch with some of that like pure joy you can see a lot in a lot of my earlier vlogs. Probably because I was living a more balanced life. And anytime balance goes to crap for me, it's just all over. The good news is that I've been on these surgical subspecialties for the past two and a half weeks in ortho, neurosurgery, and urology. And each of these weeks is completely pass fail. The past three weeks have been a little bit more chill because they're not graded, so you don't have to go like hard, hard, hard. There's no exam at the end of the week, so you don't have to be coming home studying, etc., etc. And you don't spend nearly as much time in the hospital as you would on a real rotation, like medicine or surgery. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. I'm currently on my urology week. Neurosurgery and ortho were cool, but I don't think I'm gonna be a neurosurgeon or an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, yeah, they're cool. They're cool. I was assigned to the cystoscopy suite today, which is the suite where they basically take care of all the kidney stones. So that's what I'll be doing after this. I'm gonna meet up with a friend we're gonna walk over since we were both assigned to the cystoscopy suite. I feel like there's still so much I wanna do before going into my last two fully graded serious rotations, get back into like a workout routine, which is what I've been doing, cooking all of my own meals. I haven't ordered out, like ordered takeout in so long and I was in a bad place with takeout. I was in such a bad place, but I haven't ordered takeout in so long. So I just wanna make sure I do all of that. Also. So I'm doing something really fun later. I got tickets through my school to go see The Lion King. I don't know who else is gonna go though because they did like a random lottery, but I haven't talked to anyone who's gotten a ticket. In summary, that's what I've been up to. I need to go. I'm probably running a little late. Pawns! Oh my, cut it out. Hello friends, I'm home. This morning I saw two cryosurgeries for patients with intermediate risk prostate cancer. So it's really cool. They basically just like freeze the lesions and that kills the malignant cells. It's cool. It's very cool. Hot take, I do not like chocolate chips in my banana bread. I'm like really tired. I don't know, I do this thing where I get in a good sleep routine and then all of a sudden I like throw myself off one night and then I can't sleep anymore. So the night before last, I stayed up till like 3 a.m. I had to wake up at seven, so I got like no sleep. And then I'm actually gonna try to do some like Maison Mou stuff. I've decided I wanna try to actually put out videos consistently. Melody, like come on. You guys have heard it before. I'm trying. I just want to sit down and like think about how I'm going to do that. So I filmed a TikTok over the course of today and it's easier to film a little bit in the hospital on my phone. Nothing that's like a HIPAA violation, obviously. Follow me on there if you want to see that. I also start neuro next week, neurology, which is starting to stress me out. I'm not like stressed about it, but I just like don't feel like I know anything. I've had like such a wonderful two and a half slash three weeks on surgical subspecialties. I only have two rotations left, so I want to finish strong, but it's hard. Like I'm tired. I'm tired. We'll see. A couple of you guys have asked me about step one and step two. Plot twist. I haven't even taken step one. At my school, we take step one after our clinical year. So... In January, I'll actually start studying for step one and I'll take it sometime in February, I think. But I haven't taken step one. So I have no study tips, I have no score reveal, and I actually will be part of the first class to take it pass fail. So that'll be that. Step two, on the other hand, that is gonna be a, a whole nother beast for me because that is gonna be scored. And it's gonna be our class's only score unless people choose to take it early, which more power to you, I guess, but not I. Step two will be stressful just because it'll be my only numerical score. And I think like as much as residencies are moving away from this numerical score and trying to use your evaluations, they still use it, especially for competitive specialties. So I'll cross that bridge when I get there. I'm trying not to think about too many exams at once just because I still have neuro to get through. I still have psych to get through. Those each have a shelf exam. I think psych here also has a written exam. So I've got three exams. I've got step one. I still have to take it even if it's pass fail. I definitely am going to have to study for it. Definitely not as intensely as I would have if it was scored, but I'm gonna have to study for it. I'm gonna try to learn as much as possible, especially like the really clinically relevant stuff, although I don't know how much of that is on step one, to be honest. And when step two comes, I'll be ready. I hope. I gotta do some career planning stuff, which is crazy. It's hard for me to come to terms with the fact that I'm not gonna be in school forever and I have like two years of school left and that'll be that. Yeah, it's insane. The great thing about medicine is you're always learning, so it's kind of like you're always in school, I guess. Mm, my mom's calling me. Ugh. 
Anyway, let's keep snacking on my banana bread. Someone asked me, how do you motivate yourself to work out in med school? The past couple of months have been really, really tough for working out. So I spent the past two to three weeks trying to get back into it. It's been so nice. Like I can tell the difference in my mood already. I'm more motivated to do things in general, whether it's like creating content for Mez on the Move, which I've been doing a little bit more consistently on both Instagram, TikTok, and on here. Motivated to get things done. I just feel like more energized. And despite being a little bit tired because my sleep schedule is still a little bit off, I just feel more with it. So working out in med school has been pretty terrible and terrible in terms of like trying to make it work, especially during clinical year. During preclinical, I felt like I had time. During clinical year, it's hard to feel like you have time because there's always something you could be doing to prep for tomorrow or to make a better impression on your attendings or whatever it is. So it's been tough for sure. I thought at first that I could wake up early, get studying done, go to the hospital, then work out really quickly as a break after the hospital and then, you know, study a little bit before bed. But the thing that happens is one, waking up to study, I never feel motivated to wake up to study. And then the other thing is that after a full day in the hospital, there's always more things I want to study and more that I feel like I have to do. So by the time I get home, especially if it's a late day, because you don't really have control over what time you get home, then I don't feel as motivated to do anything. I don't want to get on my spin bike. I don't want to go for a run. Like I just feel like such, I feel so stressed. I've decided I'm changing that, throwing that away. And I think for neurology and psych, we don't have to go in super, super early the way you, I had to for medicine and surgery. I don't know yet though. I haven't started those rotations, but I think it'll make more sense for me to just get my workouts done in the morning so that when I come home and I have this list of things in my head that I want to review or want to study or want to look up because of my patients or whatever, I can just do that and not feel like I have to sacrifice working out or other things. So I think I'm going to make morning my me time. I'll let you know how that goes. If it's effective, I'll share it. If it's not effective, I'll also share it. And if you are in med school or in college or in high school or whatever, and you're struggling to figure out when's a good time for you to get your exercise in, or if you're trying to work out more and you've just been having a hard time, just know that it's hard. You know, it was hard when I had a full-time job during my gap years. It's hard now as a full-time med student. It's just hard. My best piece of advice, know yourself, know the kind of person you are and use that to really find the time. I would also say don't knock short workouts. I think it's better to do three 10 minute workouts a week than to feel like you have to go all or nothing. And I'm really guilty of this too. Like if I'm not posting a YouTube video every week, on Instagram twice a week, on TikTok three times a week. If I'm not doing everything to 100% like I want to, with Mez on the Move, with freaking eating well, with drinking water, with school, I think if you're trying to start a new habit, a new routine in general, you just have to nix that whole all or nothing mentality because that keeps me from accomplishing anything. Okay, I think my mom's here. She's coming to hang for a bit. Talk to you later. I've been updating my blog and just going through the about and trying to remind myself how this kind of started and what I was thinking when I started Mez on the Move. And anyway, in doing that, I've realized that one of the biggest things about making a YouTube channel and trying to show you guys what I'm actually like in video form, not just in a curated way, is exactly that, that it's not as curated. Like, of course, it's still an artistic expression. Of course, I'm not recording myself, like, sobbing at 2 a.m., which I haven't done in a while, but, you know, it happens. That's why I love YouTube. I feel like I get to be myself. And I think that's what I've always wanted to do with Mez on the Move. I want to show you that you can be a doctor and be yourself. You can really do both. Even if you don't want to be a doctor, it's really just about wanting to offer a perspective, a personality that feels a little bit more relatable. Like, you can be a doctor and be yourself. You can pursue higher education academic -y things and be yourself. It doesn't come without a cost and it doesn't come without its challenges, but you can do both. You can have both. And maybe it's like a reminder to myself too. I feel like this YouTube channel in many ways keeps me grounded because it allows me an opportunity to come on here and just talk to y'all about medicine, but also it's like a reminder for me to turn off the switch. When I go into the hospital, People are seeing one form of Melody all day. You guys get a little bit of everything. You get the side of me that goes into the hospital, you get the side of me that's at home, and you get the side of me that just talks to you like someone who is a friend and who comes from where I come from and it's like totally fine. Anyway, it's become this judgment-free zone for me. And I hope you know it's a judgment-free zone for you. I would never judge you. I would never judge you. Now I'm just babbling. I'm just talking, just to talk, just. So I'm gonna go. But I just wanted to say that. You can be a doctor and be yourself. You can do whatever you set your mind to, as my mom used to say. I went to the gym, I got on the, um, this thing is really still going. I got on the Stairmaster for a whole 20 minutes. A friend of mine showed me how to make homemade seitan because honestly, the store stuff is so marked up and you can like season it and prep it any way you want. So I chopped up some of this and I'm doing it in like a soy ginger dressing. That's marinating right now. Then I can just fry that up real quick, eat, 
and start getting ready for the Broadway show. It is now 4.18, so it's on a little bit of a time crunch, but we're doing it. Is this a look? Not really, I feel like I look so plain. I'm just a med student trying to do fun non-med student things. Not to mention I'm going to this show basically by myself because none of my friends won tickets. Shades. Okay, what about now? Do I look like someone who goes to Broadway shows very often? I literally feel like a hipster Gen Zer. What do we think? I think the jacket made it worse. Whatever that was, it wasn't working. Pons, what do you think? Cute or not cute? Mm, she's not impressed. I think this is it. I'll let you know how the show goes. Even though it's giving Gen Z, I'm kind of loving it. This is kind of a vibe, right? Like, kind of? No? Okay. Hi.